pal Jim Panky here. Wanted to give you a couple of new ideas for Cumberland Gap. Uh, you can reference the link to the original version that I that I shared, and I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do in Cumberland Gap that I think that you'll enjoy, and, and, and you'll be able to do them pretty quick. They're not difficult, and I, you know, I've, I've had questions about it. So let, let's just dive into this thing. Like I did, I, I, I played it, and so you heard, a, maybe you heard a couple of the things I did, but the first thing I did is a little more subtle, and I, I am stopping the note. So it sounds like, I hit that note, and I don't let it ring. I pick my finger up, and let that become muted. Hit it, and then let the finger up. Don't pick it all the way up. Just to where you kill that note. Another thing that I'm doing there is, uh, you can do it with an alternating roll. So four, two, five, one, three. And then three, two, one, five, one. Eight. Or you can do it with uh, more of a forward roll. Four, three, one, five, three. Pinch. But you see, I let that up. It makes that note stop. It just gives you a little different feel. Now, so let's go through that. So we. here we're going to do a rake and we're going to do a rake and we're going to slide from two to five on the fourth string you say Jim what's a rake we're going to take our thumb and we're going to drive it through the strings forcefully not too rough but enough that you you get an idea of it strings and you're going to do that brush and then a pinch three pinch so in context it sounds like So it's brush, slide, pinch, three, pinch. So the slide becomes part of the, it, it's part of your rhythm. It, it's a beat. So, and you can really force your, now I would recommend doing it every time. But that's going to come up, you know, you could do it once in, in a whole break and save it. Uh, so as you're playing through your song. You do it one time and it's a surprise and everybody goes, oh, wow, that's, that's cool. And so that's what you're shooting for. You, you, you want to create this, this thing that, that's a surprise and folks aren't expecting, and, and it, it adds some excitement to your playing. So we'll just call this an expansion pack for uh, Cumberland Gap. And that gives you two new ideas to try in, in the low break Cumberland Gap. All right? Now, if you like this sort of content, and I, I sure hope you do, let me know. Leave leave a uh, hit that like button. You know, hit the subscribe and be sure to hit that bell, and you'll get notifications when I post new videos. And uh, be sure to uh, leave a comment. Do you do this rake? 
what song do you like to use it in? Because you, you can use it in more places than Cumberland Gap, that's for sure. So if, if you use it, let me know where you're using it. And if you find that you can use it in another song, be, sh be sure to let me know, and I'd like, to hear, I'd like to hear you do it. All right, folks, we'll see you next time. Bye. Jim Panky here. I had an idea. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, redo.